Museum and Cultural Center and Ohio Artists. This exhibition was curated by Rosa Rojas. My name is Kat Sheridan. I'm the director of this space and I'm Alexa. I'm the Marketing and Exhibitions Fellow at the OIC Rife Gallery. Right behind me you can see work from Willis Bing Davis. Uh, lovingly known as Bing. He's a Dayton artist and a lot of his work pulls from his African ancestry. He does a lot with textiles and you can see that in his celebratory face masks with found objects. He's really kind of pulling from his current day experience and then pulling from his past. If you're familiar with the term Sankofa, it's understanding your past to move forward and I think his work really embodies that. Brooks also has really wonderful work referencing African textiles. She also abstracts the idea of a mask and is celebrating elders in her work. Her early work, you can see, is really narrative. Um, she's pulling from dreams and experiences and weaving a story through a lot of symbology with her wood burning. And then as we get to her more contemporary work, she's really abstracting that notion but still maintaining the roots of it. So behind me is the artwork of Tariq Terry, an artist from New Albany, Ohio. Tariq likes to photograph new Americans using an archival photography technique as a way to really preserve the artwork and keep it lasting through generations. He was inspired to create these photographs because of Italian and Irish immigrants coming into Ellis Island and he wanted to honor and celebrate new Americans coming to the United States today by photographing them in a similar way. Bruce Robinson, just behind me, is an Individual Excellence Award winner, so we're really excited to have him in this exhibition. He loves to push and pull his medium and concepts to get to a place where you can still understand that silhouette, but it feels a little jazzy. Another thing that's really interesting about him is that jazz really kind of informs his work. Not only because you can see these folks behind me playing instruments, but also just kind of the, the feel of the work the creativity behind it, and these one-two punches that he has in shadow play, I think really kind of speak to that. Behind me, you'll see the work of Lisa McClendon. Lisa, along with another one of our fabulous Ohio diaspora artists, April Tsunami, is one of Columbus Underground's 2019 top local artists. We are so excited to be exhibiting both of them and celebrating this great accomplishment. Lisa creates portraiture. She does this with colored pencil and wood. She creates her art in the style of Afrofuturism and references astrology and nature. Lisa's portraits tie into a lot of the themes of this show with representation and celebration of the black woman. In Tracy Amin's sculpted pots, these are what she calls her mammy pots. Through her work, she's trying to rewrite the narrative and help folks understand the depth and character of the black woman throughout history. Mammy was known as a really stereotypical one-dimensional person, but in reality, the African-American slave was far more than that. And it's a really wonderful piece and pieces to have a close look at and explore the idea of the humanity of all of us.
for joining us for this tour of Ohio Diaspora, art from the collection of the National Afro-American Museum and Cultural Center and Ohio Artists. This exhibition was curated by Rosa Rojas.